Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to add sheet in Excel in UiPath. So here I will show you how to add sheet in a multiple way. So I will suggest you to watch this video till the end. Now first I am going to show you how to add sheet. So that sheet will be just a seat 1, seat 2, seat 3 like that. So by default seat name will be automatically added. So this is the Excel workbook that I am going to use. So first I am going to show you using VBA code. It means Excel VBA code I am going to use the here to insert seat in Excel workbook. So first we will use Excel application scope. Then we will select that Excel file. So we have this sample file, we will select this one, this is under this project folder. Right side we have this visual, so file will be opened, but currently I have already opened this one, so that I can show you how it's, how UiPath is going to insert seat in front of you. So I will not close this excel file, I will keep it open. And before using this, like before inserting in a seat, you need to make sure one thing, open this excel workbook or any excel, I am not saying that you just need to use only that excel where you are going to uh, insert seat. You can open any excel file from your system, then click on file, go to option, click on trust center, then trust set center settings, then click on macro settings and check this trust access to VBA project object model. So always this should be checked. Now click OK. Now search for invoke VBA because we are going to use VBA code to add seat in Excel. We will select our VBA code text file. So we have this one, this is the VBA where I, where I have written all the code to add seat. Now I am going to show you one by one here. First I am going to show you how to add seat without any specific name. So I am going to take this method name. So we have just this one sub and add sub. So copy this method name and come to this one and remove this main and paste here. It will create one seat name with the by default name. Let me open excel file here, run this. So you can see here seat 1 has been created here, inserted in this sample file workbook. Now I am going to show you how to add seat with any specific name. So we have this one, paste here and only this, only this line you need to write, sub, add seat with name, you can put any name here, open close bracket, seats dot add dot name equals to details or any name that you want to create. So seat name will be this one. So I am going to add seat in this excel workbook with the name this one. Now run this. So you will see here details seat will be added. Now you can see details seats seat added here in this workbook. Now let us say I want to create one seat after raw data here. So I will use this one. So I have this seat name raw data. After raw data, my seat name should be summary. So we have this line sub and this name seats dot add open bracket after colon equals to seats of raw data. It means this one dot name equals to summary and at the end end sub. So we are going to call this method. So copy this paste here. 
So what will happen after this raw data sheet summary sheet will be created. So you can see summary sheet has been now created. Now if your requirement is to create one sheet before summary one or like before details. So let us say I want to create summary one before details sheet. It means after summary or before details sheet. Let us say before January I want to create summary one. So I will use this method sub method name subroutine name seats dot add before seats of that name dot name equal to summary one. So let us say I want to create uh, before January or like before seat one I want to create one seat. So I will put here seat one. So before this seat I want to create one seat that will be summary one. So save this and copy this one go to this one and paste here. So we are going to call this a specific method and run this one. So you will see before seat 1 summary 1 will be created. So you can see here now summary 1 seat has been created now. So by this way you can add seats name in the excel workbook you can add the by default seat like seat 1, seat 2 in excel workbook. You can create any specific seat after any seat or you can create any seat before any seat right like that. So you can play with the excel seats. So I hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you